you kind of talked about something, and I know you you you, you talked about the protein leverage theory theory and the protein uh, energy ratio, which is something you've been talking about recently. Can you? I know you've kind of mentioned this. Can you kind of further elaborate on that? Because I, I think it's a very uh, important uh, discussion, uh, and I think you you, uh, you you can do a, you, you do a very good job explaining that. So if you don't mind explaining it for whoever's listening here. Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. So there's this whole field of study called nutritional ecology. Uh, nutritional ecology looks at what an organism is supposed to eat versus what it actually gets to eat. You know what I mean? It's kind of like what you need versus what you get. And in the animal kingdom, there's tons of research in the protein to energy ratio of your diet. That's basically how much protein you're eating for how much non-protein energy or carbs and fats. Uh, another way to frame it would be the nitrogen component of your diet, versus, which is protein, versus the carbon component of your diet, which is fats and carbohydrates. They're both carbon energy sources. So it's kind of a nitrogen to carbon ratio or a protein to non-protein energy ratio. And it's just a huge big deal in the animal world because every organism is going to um, seek out a certain balance there and it's going to have the optimum performance at a certain level there. And then you can artificially constrain that by just giving, um, you know, an organism like donuts, for example, let's say, and it just really screws up the program. Then this organism has to make a compromise. Am I going to overeat fat to get enough protein or am I going to under eat protein to avoid eating too much fat and you have to kind of pick your poison and it sort of sucks either way and your performance is going to be down and your uh, reproduction is going to be down and your lifespan might be down there, there are trade-offs you know what I mean so <clears throat> if you uh, there are a lot of animal studies where they just provide animals with a pure protein source and then a pure energy source, either carbs or fats or both. And the organism is going to eat a little bit of one, a little bit of the other, and they basically can kind of get to where they need to be. Um, the problem with humans is that we've diluted the food supply so bad that every choice you reasonably have is low in protein, right? You're, well, you're not going to eat any meat because that's got saturated fat and cholesterol in it. We know that clogs your arteries. <laughs> so now, you know, and you know you're supposed to eat a plant-based diet because if you don't, you must hate the environment or whatever, um, or you hate animals. So like, okay, now, you know, all these plant foods are just massively protein diluted and you're, you're kind of, you just don't have a chance, you know what I mean? And this is a, uh, this is, I think, I think the studies are there in the animal kingdom, and just nobody's brought this to humans the way they really need to. I'm trying to. Hey, um, <laughs> let me 